You'll be bringing some Aussies on Friday. Nice, nice, excellent. Look forward to it. Hot shots, hot shots, pot dirt. Oh, they are great films. <laughs> Do you, are they classed as war films in your book? I mean, I guess, I guess they're war films. Man, hot shots are hilarious. Where are you going? In there. Just kind of hope this guy didn't see me. Oh, this, thank you. Got him. He did see me, but we shot him. Oh, he had an AK too. Oh, that's where I just went. Did he come in this building? I think he was just looking for me. Well, thankfully he didn't have a vest either, which helped. Best war movie, Tropic Thunder. Take this guy, I guess. Don't carry anything, so I have a bag or a vest. He didn't see you just so your ass in that red dress. Well, I am looking pretty fine. We need to change my outfit back. That is a good... Try and remind me after this game to put my light Jesus robe back on. Is it Hot Shots where he puts the chicken in the bow? Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Does Predator count as a war movie? Um, I get... It's more, it's just kind of an action movie, really, isn't it? What's up, Uni? How you doing? Favorite films of all time Top Gun, Troy, Fight Club, Saving Private Ryan, Forrest Gump, Green Mile, not necessarily in that order. There's some good... A Fight Club, excellent film. Saving Private Ryan, excellent film. Forrest Gump, amazing film. Green Mile, amazing film. I would... I feel Troy is really punching above its weight to be on that list. That's all I'm saying. Troy is brilliant. Oh, I... Well, I don't mind Troy, but it's I feel it's dated quite badly. I watched it quite recently and then I watched it like yeah, I I I'm not not a huge fan, I must say. Hey friend. I know you're here. Um, kill. Go with the last bullet. Battle Royale was an amazing movie. Yeah, great film, man. I haven't seen that for a long time. Shawshank. Shawshank's good. Starship Troopers. Excellent film. Good Morning Vietnam. Excellent film. Yeah, I mean, that's a war film. That is true. That's up there. Starship Troopers war film set on fighting alien insects. <laughs> I'd take 300 over Troy, yeah, easily. Easily. Have you not seen a movie made before 1990? <laughs> Got a real urge to watch Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump is a timeless classic. A timeless classic. Small Soldiers. Wow, I've not seen that for so long. I can barely remember it. I 
No, I, I liked 300. I enjoyed it. You know, it's kind of kind of dumb, but I think it's a good, you know, it's a good action film. Dunkirk. Dunkirk was okay. I saw it at the cinema. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I didn't like blow my mind as a classic, but it was, you know, it was all right. It was decent. Yeah, we were Band of Brothers is kind of what started the conversation. Band of Brothers is amazing. Will never be beaten. You ran me over in the demolition derby, Chi Chi. Uh, what's up, Sparks? How you doing? Thank you. Thank you. The Shining, best horror movie ever. The Shining, uh, featured in in Twister that I was watching yesterday. They're uh, watching The Shining at the drive-in when the, uh, I mean, spoiler alert, if you've not seen uh, Twister from 1996. The year I started secondary school. Uh, they're watching The Shining on like a drive-in, drive-in, drive-through. I guess a drive-in, drive-through. You don't drive through a cinema. It'd be a very, very brief cinematic experience, wouldn't it? Um, hey, buddy. At the drive-in cinema, they're watching uh, The Shining, and then it gets like torn apart by the, by a tornado. Would you believe it? Be kind, please rewind. Blazing Saddles. Campfire. Oh man, Blading for Blazing Saddles is a brilliant film. I've not seen that for a while. I love Blazing Saddles. Can't be dropping Blazing Saddles quotes on, on stream though. I'll probably get banned. There's no drive-ins here anymore. I thought I heard shooting out there, but it's not. Yeah, it was never really a thing in the... I mean, I'm sure there are like one or two knocking about or were in the UK, but... Oh, you going to render in? Yeah, drive-ins. drive, drive -ins, Not a big thing in, in the UK, would you believe it? You know, a country with notoriously shitty weather. Backdraft. We were talking about Backdraft the other day, me and the missus actually, saying it's quite a dark film. I remember we both watched it when we were quite young, and it's quite... It's stuck in my mind. I feel it's a pretty... Quite a, quite a dark film in places. For, you know, for a kid. Oh, is he shooting someone down here? Guys, what's going on? Pretty dark. What's up, big money? How you doing? God, oh, well, it wasn't my best shooting. <laughs> Got there in the end. What's up, Rick? How you doing? You need a better helmet. Where was he? He was up there, wasn't he? Uh, Empress M's. How you doing? Con Air. Wow. Con Air is the dis the conversation has <laughs> descended through best war films, and now we are down to Con Air. I mean, it's, you know, it's a good film. It's a good film. Oh, mate. No need, is there? Don't even have a helmet on. Don't even have a helmet on.
I'm a bit anxious as to where this guy so originally has gone. Corner's alright. Corner's alright. It's no it's no the rock. Sorry, what? Where the fuck are you? Oh you there. Oh and there's another guy on the other side of me. <laughs> oh Karakin. Where he came from. Face off, face off's a classic. Hey sub by Shane, how you doing? The best Nicolas Cage movie is easily The Rock. The Rock. Then Face Off. Then Con Air. When are we gonna see some golden eye speed running on this channel? I need to like I don't know have I don't have the setup. I don't have the tech setup. We'll have to do some speed running on like something else. Yeah, GoldenEye is a game based on a film. I think he was just joking. We we sort of went on to films that were made based on a game, like the like Tomb Raider got one and Doom got one and Mario got one. Are there any good ones though? Apart the first Tomb Raider is okay, right? It was alright, especially when I was like, you know, I, I don't want to mark that going here. Um, you know, especially for a kid, because you're like, you know, Angelina Jolie was pretty fit. She made a good, uh, good Lara Croft. Happy international quarantine. Happy international quarantine to you too. Where am I? Let's go over here. We never drop here. Have they ever made a Zelda movie? Not that I know of. Yeah, the Street Fighter movie's pretty bad. It's got that guy from, um... Um... Adam's family in it, though, right? And he, like, died really soon after that. I was reading up on it the other week for some random reason. Where'd he go? What's going on with that? Got a gun. <laughs> e K M. Uh, get rid of that. Uh, is there like a, is there a bag? Could have grabbed the vest on the way through. Really would have helped the situation. Sonic was actually quite good. Oh, what they did it? That's quite recent, right? The Sonic film. Yeah, I didn't uh, didn't see it. Assassin's Creed? Did they do an Assassin's Creed film? What's up, uh, Dan? How you doing? Aaron, how you doing, mate? Good to see you. Will I be playing Warzone again? Yeah, I don't know when. At some stage. Oh, didn't load that. I'm oh, pleased with that little push on that guy. With only an S12K to our name. <laughs> I forgot to change my outfit, that is true, I did do that. I did do that. Try and remind me to change my outfit in between games, please, chat. Because I'm... Uh, I need to put a better outfit on than this. We need to go back to the Jesus robe. This is, this is not... This was our birthday outfit. It's no good. It won't do. Hey, Mickey, how you doing? Brian, how you doing? Matter, we're not in the zone. Thank you. Uh, 
How was my caterpillar cake? It was excellent, thank you. Yeah, really nice. I had a lovely caterpillar cake. Go steal the flare crate. Ah, be fine. He's worked hard to get that flare. I don't want to be, you know, a mean bastard to go and nick it. Are we just spitting out movie facts? Uh, we're just, it sort of descended into from a, what did we start talking about initially? Um, war films. I mentioned Twister. We were talking about war films. And then it's just descended into just sort of a big random conversation, really. Uh, let's take this. Our AOC good gaming monitors. Well, I use an AOC monitor. Um... And I like it, so yeah, I suppose. At least my monitor's good. I know that. Band of Brothers started this, yeah. Patch notes out later this week. Excellent. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Uh, sure. Let's take the QBU. Hey, Kira, good to see you. Bank are pretty good, too. I think the thing is with monitors, you kind of get what you pay for. If you don't, you know, any monitor that costs, you know, a few quid, it's likely to be, you know, pretty, pretty decent, really. And if you buy a cheap-ass budget one, then it's probably likely to be a little bit inferior. I need a um I need a thing for my air care. Now do let's go. I just got the new AK skin, pretty sweet. Yeah, it's a nice skin, isn't it? There's a lot of good AK skins. I really like this skin and the um the glory one, the black one is really good as well. Uh, what's up, Rafe, Rayfed? How you doing? Fire. Red. Red09. How you doing? You have an MSI curve. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I've used, uh, I mean, this AOC one I've had for a while now has been good. I also really like, um, before that I used to use Dell Ultra Sharps, which aren't gaming monitors. I didn't really, but I did game on them for ages and it didn't really bother me too much. They had a slow response time, but it never really, never really seemed to make much of a difference to me, to be honest. But yeah, Dell Ultra Sharps are really nice. It's just general working monitors that are very high quality. <laughs> Baggins, dude, thank you very much for the 21 months. Appreciate it, mate. Appreciate it. Yeah, my I've got two Dell Ultra Sharps and they've been going for absolutely years and they look amazing. Uh, so I might try out um, Day Z, Day Z um, later on today. Not really played it before, uh, so yeah, might give that a go. Should, could be interesting. You've not crashed in the past few weeks. Nice, nice. Glad to hear it, Brian. Hey Tony, how you doing? Hey, Tony. Oh, my monitor's a bit far back. Look at me. Fine. Uh, right, so look at the my screen a little bit. Try and find some baddies. It's been quite quiet. 
Hey kids, how you doing? Yeah, I, I've heard Daisy's pretty pretty buggy. I I'm kind of expecting that. I just want to have a little look at it, really. I mostly just want Rust to come out. Uh, what's up, Postback? How you doing? I saw a YouTube video that said to avoid all crashes, remove all your skins, vehicle skins, and clothing, etc. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's really true or not, to be honest. I think it's just a bit of a guess. There's a guy. Is PUBG getting rid of crap, Corinne? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. You'll have to ask them if they're getting rid of crap, Corinne. Oh, I don't... What to me else? Have I just been running around like half health for ages? It may be. <laughs> Is this, what's this guy doing? He's just getting his step count up. <laughs> Gotta hit 10,000 steps, lads. Gotta do my 10k. Oh, back and forth. <laughs> it worked. I got shot. When did I get shot? Was that from the start of the game? Hawkins said they are not removing any maps when season seven starts. And the change your outfit, thank you. And the candy returns. Yeah, I wouldn't explain to remove any maps. They haven't announced that happening for PC. I don't see why they do that for the start of the game. Oh, I just never healed up from the start. Okay, noted. Thanks. Killed by the step counter guy. I know, I know. Hey, Haynes, how you doing? Nice to see ya. Juno, how you doing? Thank you very much for the biddies. What headphones do I use? I use Astro A50s. Thanks, Kira. Bearded J Val, thank you very much for the 14 months. Cheers, mate. Appreciate the support. How you doing? Am I happy with the headphones? Yeah, I love them. They're great. They're amazing. What's up, Python? How you doing? Nice to see you. Busy one here. Yeah? Oh, this isn't good. The Lage. Got a gun. I have any have a grenade. on the roof, not really sure. Jumping around. What are you up to, mate? He just like dropped onto the balcony. <laughs> oh, we hit him in the head. <laughs> Such a lucky shot. Win this, please. Uh, I'll see what I can do. I will see what I can do. 
Thank you very much, the biddies. Hey, you know? Just kind of drop. I don't normally drop there. I normally go for the warehouses, but we we had like a. It's been very weirdly quiet, hasn't it? As we've been getting started here, um, we had a bit of a bad drop. Well, I got out too early, so I ended up going there instead. I didn't want to contest the warehouses, but that worked out. There were a fair few lads went this way. Has it been quiet, or have I just like not been paying attention? Because there are, we saw a bunch of lads. Friends. I haven't seen any dead boys yet. Why is there stuff here? There's, there's a dead guy. And a couple of live guys. Ah, uh, you killed my guy! Are you on there? Well, oh. uh, Tony Brooker, thank you for the gift this up to King Panda. Just Tony. Appreciate it. Been watching you on YouTube for some help. First time watcher. Nice. Welcome to the stream, King Panda. Thank you for checking it out. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Okay, get rid of that. Uh, we'll keep carrying all this random stuff we got, because we might use some of it. Well, that was a, not a lot there. Oh, we got loads of fives. Keep taking it all. What did this, this guy had like a mini or something up there, didn't he? Let's have a looky. Can you climb up from down here, or do you have to climb out from the inside? Can't remember. I think you can climb up over here, right? Yeah, I remember. I'm, yeah, I saw a guy do it the other day. Just keep shooting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, General Cyburns, how you doing? Nice to see ya. Uh, Delvey boy, thank you for the 18 months. Cheers, Delvey. Appreciate it, mate. Merry lockdown to you too. Yeah, I was kind of, um, it, it was a weird position to try, I don't know why he didn't go prone, he just sat there hoping that I wouldn't be able to hit him through, through this thing, and it didn't work out for him. Um, what did he have? A Vector and an SKS. Well, let's take your Vecchi, because, you know, it's a Vecchi. Give me a pan. Ah, so annoying. Give me a pan. Oh my god, how many? There's a guy over there. Give me a... Hang on. Give me a pan. Here we go. Jesus. Give me, give me Vecchi loaded. Have you seen me? Probably. Not much ammo for this, do we? Oh, he doesn't look very alert. I swear we tagged that guy in the head and then followed him up as well there. Pretty harsh. Oh, I think I just saw him run down there. Mm, or maybe I didn't. I don't know. Brand?
Thank you. Well, we found where all the dead boys are. I know where this guy went, though. Could have gone anywhere. Hey, Nacho, how you doing? Yeah, power grid's awesome. I love a power grid drop. I mean, I basically only drop here and Hacienda on Miramar, which is why... <laughs> why this map can get, get quite boring to play. Because I really kind of struggle to get looted if I drop anywhere else. Oh, man. If you were that guy, where would you have gone, you know? I think he would have just cheesed it or flanked around to med and loot some more. I think he would have just, like, run off this way. What's up, infected? How you doing? You'll never quit. Thanks. Found him. Uh, planes, how you doing? Good to see you, dude. Good to see you. I guess he was just chilling around here the whole time. I think that guy just stopped. There he is. He did. St I can even see his car. Where'd you go, buddy? Come fight. Come fight. My one bullet back. Oh no, my eleven bullets. Little mini versus mini battle. Can't really rotate around very well from this spot. You could pop up, kind of either of those sides. Get a bit, of, get a bit of distance. Get a better position. Oh, we both got mini Vekis. I like it. I like it. Good luck. This guy's destroying me. What's up, Slidey Town? How you doing? He's destroying me, but not pushing, which is nice, because uh, I've only got bandos, so... Uh-oh. It's a pan. <laughs> Let's go get a new vest, really, unfortunately. Sorry, mate. I thought that was a grenade for a second. It was a, a pan. New vest! I remember where we saw one. Thank you. Do some meds, can we? Vector needs to be a crate weapon. We has it's not the vector he's been hitting me with, it's the mini he's been hitting me with. Chuck your pan at him, yeah. We'll we'll, we'll go back and have another crack. Uh Jace the Eggs, thank you very much for the 12 months. Welcome to the TBG BBC new Blackbeard member. Welcome on board, dude. Good to see you. In general. It's far too good. Um, yeah, it's, it, yeah, it's strong. It's a strong gun. I think it just needs a bit of nerfing rather than, uh, being thrown in a 
in a crate. I love the remade thunder they have on this game. Would you be my remade thunder? Like, new? Nerf is a good option. It needs something. Yeah, yeah, it'd be nice to see. It gets a bit tedious with everyone using it. And the, uh, just the fact, I think, I think it's more that you can just wreck people from such range with it still. You can just laser people from quite far away and it doesn't, you know, I don't know. Maybe a balance that made SMGs a lot less powerful at any kind of range would make, you know, be a nice balance. What football team do I support? I support Cholton. Cholton. Little bike in there. They redid the thunder sounds. Okay, got ya. Hello. Hmm. Whose is the bike? Was that his bike? Just some random other truck? Yeah, maybe. He's going to go and get on his bike. Maybe. Cholton Athletic or Cheltenham? Cholton Athletic. Not Cheltenham. You thought he was Crystal Palace? I know what you're trying to do. I know what you're trying to do. Everton here. Nice. Nice. It's going to be interesting to see what they do with football after uh, all the corona stuff. Wow, he just... Destroyed that guy with his AK. Oh, maybe he didn't. That was a different kill. That guy died, though. I just heard, like, a little AK spray and then someone died, but it maybe it was uh, either the two people died or that was just un unrelated, I think. Hey, pile of dead guys. Oh, look at this. Fresh. Thank you. Uh, we've already got that. We've got so much stuff here. You got an extendo, you do. Got a crap load of ammo. He's got another mini. Man, everyone's got the minis today. Minis and SKSs. Um, what do we need? A bit more ammo, I guess. We need attack stock and a better grip, but I don't think they had it. Take the boost too. Thanks. There we go. Who is Charlton's most famous ever player? Um, what, that like an American might have heard of? Probably, probably no one. Probably no one. Clive Mendonca. Uh, Chris Powell. Chris Powell played for England. Lee Boya, he was, he's now our manager. He was reasonably famous. Scotty Parker, yeah, Scotty Parker maybe. Went on to play for Chelsea. Well, I say play. How do we not pop a tire there or hit him? I say play. He mostly just sat on the bench, didn't he? 
May Holland, yeah. May Holland, I met Matt Holland once, got a photo with him, with me dressed as a pimp. Scotty Parker when he was in the Mackie D adverts. <laughs> yeah, oh, hello. Bobby Charlton, <laughs> famous Charlton player. Super Clive, yeah, I'm not sure how internationally famous Super Clive is, but he's a champion in my heart. Richard Rufus, Clive Mendonca. <laughs> John Fortune. I'm, I'm coming for you, I'm coming for you. We're gonna jump right over this guy. <laughs> Wee! Oh shit. Oh my god. We died. Very quickly. Uh Org Dog TV. Thanks very much for the Prime. Brand new Prime sub. Appreciate it, mate. Appreciate it. Hey Lee, how you doing? He's so good he didn't even need the crate weapon. No, I don't know what I guess he got an orm from her on MK unless he just left the crate weapon and loves his barrel. What do I drive? I drive my girlfriend's mini. Top five dogs ever right there. Thanks, Brian. I appreciate that. What's up, Mr. Sense? How you doing? Rogan's here, dude. Got to do the little one's homework. Nice. Birthday drives are non-essential. Who knew? Who knew? I drive a Civic that's made in Swindon. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I just share the missus's mini. Neither is like really have much call to drive hardly ever. I only recently started driving anyway. Um, yeah, so we just share a car that we pootle around in every now and again. What's up, B Mitchell? How you doing? Is it a proper Mini? Well, I mean, it's actually a Mini, but it's not an old classic Mini, if that's what you mean. Which I'm kind of relieved, because, you know, then that'd be, like, even worse to drive than this thing. <laughs> Love the classic Minis. Yeah, I'm not really a, I'm not a big car guy, so I don't really have like, you know, I just anything that just, you know, drives around and isn't terrible, pretty happy with that. Ooh, nice little circle for a crate game. Uh Jack, how you doing? Avocado, how you doing? Thank you for the 14 months, Avo. Appreciate it, mate. Appreciate it. Good to see ya. Got level three vest and a bucket on my head. Is it manual transmission? Yeah, it's manual. Most cars in the UK are, are manual. Let's go. I just like cars that go fast around corners. <laughs> I'm a hot hatch enthusiast in that regard. I don't even really know what a hot hatch is, to be honest. Holy balls, that's a lot of viewers. First thing in the morning. Yeah, 275 people. Half past two. It's a pretty good effort, isn't it? I only just saw that. Wowzers. 
I drive the new RS6. I assume you don't mean Rainbow Six. Manual transmission in the US is basically an anti-theft device. Yeah, someone said that the other day. We were talking about this recently. It's quite, yeah, because I, when I mentioned I did my test and that they, they, someone asked, you, there's like a, you can do a manual test license or a automatic license. And if you do the automatic license, you can't drive a manual. Whereas if you do a manual license, you can drive anything. But uh, yeah, we had quite a conversation because uh, yeah, in America, quite a different situation. Hey, Sergeant Murray, how you doing? You've driven automatics in the UK for the past eight years. Yeah, my dad drives an automatic. They're certainly a lot more common than they used to be. They used to be very much like a novelty kind of thing. But um, yeah, they're, uh, they're more common, but they're certainly, uh, certainly in the minority. I don't know, I, when, I, when I was learning to drive, I remember thinking, what's the point of a manual? It seems like the gears are just going to get really confusing and just annoying to have to do. And then after, like, driving for about four hours in total, you're like, you don't even think about it anymore. It's just, it's just part of driving a car, so... Yeah, it doesn't feel like a, you know, a hassle or anything. But, yeah, certainly not against, you know, driving an automatic. I'd probably get one at some stage. But I think my concern if I drove an automatic would be that I would then like forget how to drive a manual and then just be stuck with automatic your car's an engine that's good yeah the ones with engines are pretty decent actually they tend to be the ones i go for hey then robot hive Pretty, pretty wide open here. You never forget how to drive a manual. Okay, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, exactly, Ian, exactly. You're attending a staff meeting whilst watching. Nice, nice. Oh, the grozer, it's done as well this last couple of weeks. Guy's like one shot from dying there. I can't really, you can't really say it's lazy driving automatic because it's kind of fun driving a manual, I guess, but like it's or when after. Given that automatic cars exist and drive around just fine, it does kind of make manuals like a bit pointless, surely. It's kind of like having like some sort of elaborate series of like weird gestures and, you know, buttons you have to press to like unlock your front door or just putting a key in and turning it, you know, and be like, well, why, why make life more complicated for yourself? Go up here, we need to go and find a scope. He, really, he mucked up the grenade and we just walked onto it. Went to dodge it and walked onto it. Uh, Queen of Blaze, how you doing? Automatic cars can get better gas mileage too. Wasn't always true. What's up, MacTac? How you doing? Audi are great cars. My dad's got um, like an Audi people carrier kind of thing. The Q, Q7, something like that. Is that the Q7? Yeah, he leases it. A lot of people do that these days.
Ben, did you use public transit all the time? Uh, yeah, well, I, I spent most of the last 10 years working in London. I commuted from the train station where I live to London. There was no need to drive. I didn't need to drive to the train station, although Chewy would suggest differently. Um, and in London, there's no point driving because it's London and you, <laughs> driving's about the slowest way to get anywhere. So I just, yeah, just never, never drove until recently. Audi people, Harry. Carry to see of candy. <laughs> I don't know. I'll ask him for you. Oh, you're right there. Oh, this is bad. Ooh. Uh, what's up, WTF? How you doing? Any meds? I think it was just that guy here. Man, everyone's got all fancy cars and shit in chat. Or maybe it's just only the people with fancy cars answer the question, I suppose. <laughs> Probably more likely. What this? Ah! Thank you. Oh, look, we got little matching gun skins going on. Oh, isn't that nice? Isn't that lovely? Yeah, I feel like spending a crap load of money on a car is definitely very low down on the list of things I'd like to spend a crap load of money on. You know? It ain't up there. None of us are quick to shout out, yeah, I've got a great Fiat Punto. You know, be be proud of what you got. Be pr I'd be, you know, I'm I'm more impressed with your, you know, sensible car purchasing options than all this frivolous, like, fancy pants cars people been smashing all their money on. How much is a crap load? Well, I guess that's relative, isn't it? I guess that's relative. You know, if you're into cars and you want to spend tens, tens of thousands of pounds on a car, then, you know, go nuts. But, yeah, it's probably not something I'd do. Unless I was, like, a multi-millionaire. But, you know, whatever your hobbies are, I guess, right? Oh, we got a nice... Well, I say we got a nice little loadout. It's just because they got the nice matching skins. It looks nice, but uh, I don't really want to run that mini again. Hmm. 3x... What's up, Swindle? How you doing? <laughs> hey, buddy. You prefer to spend your money on the new Xbox? Well, yeah, mine, but hopefully the new Xbox isn't going to cost 20 grand. Fingers crossed.
Yeah, London's, uh, I mean, like any, like, big city, London's not a, not a place you want to be driving unless you absolutely have to. And the public transport, despite, you know, it, people mo the people who use it will probably moan about it all the time, and I probably did when I used it, but the public transport system in London is pretty good, given how, how quickly you can get from, like, one side of London to the other. It ain't cheap, but, uh, you can get around London very quickly on the tube. And you can get into London and on the trains from outside London pretty easily. It's just a rip-off. Um, man, look, we got all the scopes going on. Get rid of the three. What jobs have I held in the past? Um, I've been a pot wash. I've been a paper boy. I've been a barman. I've been a waiter. Thanks to the Bits Delta. Um, I turned over rooms in a hotel. I, uh, I did night cleaning in a hotel. That was in Canada. And then I went and worked, um, in software development as a software tester for, like, nine years. Till I did this. That was my, like, that was my big adult job. The rest were all, like, my little kiddie jobs. Where in Canada? In Banff. In the Rimrock. Software tester equals lady of the night. Pub lol. <laughs> uh, Lee, thank you very much, man. Appreciate the support, dude. Good to see you. Sometimes you get pub lol. We are. Should have been looking out of the plane. We are dead center, aren't we? You notice. Too busy chatting away. It's been a very chatty stream so far. Very chatty. Um, I keep getting lots of little bits of packet loss popping up. Are we downloading? No. Ugh. That was weird to do that every time I come back in. Oh, it does, look. I get like a hitch every time I come back out of the menu. Good. Bamp sounded like a punch sound from the 60s Batman series. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it? everyone driving this way where did you go in here. Oh, you're on the roof. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Still is UAZ. Well, we're in the play zone, though, is the problem.
How did he not hear me, like, walk back that way? Um, thank you, thank you, oh, thank you, thank you, oh, thank, what did I just pick up? I don't know. Uh, take the SLR. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have I visited Banff again since I left? I went back there like the year after I left. I was there when I was like 18, so. This guy here. Um, yeah, I was there when I was 18. I went back like a year or two later. I went back with my parents on like a holiday for a bit. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I've been there since then. Um, I wish somebody just had a 6x for me. Never been to Banff. It was cool, but yeah, I mean, I haven't been there for a long time. It was cool when I was 18 and went out there and just, like, did a ski season and worked in a hotel and got drunk and skied for six months. It was great. It was good fun. Good fun. Another high IQ play. Thanks very much, Pappy. The classic. Classic roof and flank. Oh, am I in roof and flank? Banff is the unofficial STD capital of Canada, by the way, or so are here. I mean, that doesn't surprise me. Doesn't surprise me. An accidental or a stream snipe? Yeah, it's an accidental. Oh, look, he's, oh, he's burning as well. Well, not burning, but a bit smoky. <laughs> Mark, thanks very much for the uh, the 21 months. Oi to you too, mate. Oi to you too. I was burnt. Is it burning? Just a little bit. A little bit smoky. Maybe the, a hint of fire in one, just to freak him out. Now I need to know where that is in Canada. <laughs> yeah. See you later, old guy. Take it easy. Oh, bike's chilling. Huh? Or people going past. Kind of right in the middle of the zone. Let's we'll just get out. We'll get out. Ooh, that's a bit frivolous, wasn't it? Go away with it. Yeah, I never really know where to go when the zone's just closing around you. People are kind of turning up, but most of them just driving on by. Drive on by. Oh, another little hitch. Yeah, they do it does seem to be happening there, doesn't it? The odd little uh, little freezes like that. Hitches, I think they call them. Little glitches in the matrix. Show off the SLR skin. What this one? What even is? Is this the battle stat one? Oh, yeah, 129.
How you doing, Frodo? Good to see you, mate. Hope you had a good weekend. Pepsi, how you doing? Not gonna help you, is it, mate? It's unlucky not to. <laughs> if we'd headed him, we might have got it. They're both still alive. How has neither of them won this fight yet? Didn't see anything in the feed. <laughs> oh, that was an angle there. Oh, you gotta feel bad. Gotta feel bad. He didn't get a kill, right? That guy was just... Thanks. I didn't even heady him. It's a bit lazy, really, but... He's dead, so... That's all that matters. I don't think there was another kill there. I don't think he had got anyone, unless I missed it. Them angs, bro. Them angs. Yeah, I know. Sick angs. I don't really want to push that building. I hate pushing those buildings. Tempted to do the roof next to it. I'm not sure he realizes the guy's dead. I mean, I wouldn't. You just see a random, you know, kill in the feed. Really enjoyed customs on Friday. Even skipped a bit of work to play. That's what I like to hear. Glad you enjoyed it. They've been, uh, been really popular recently. Bit of a lower roof, actually, isn't it? Hmm. I don't want to get caught out by this guy. Oh, look, there's so many, so many boys. I didn't quite mean to do that, but sure. Sure. 6x. I was trying to like hop onto the edge and shoot down at him, but you know, whatever works. A bit more ammo would be nice. Well, it worked out. Kill. Well, we've got a fairly unbanged up car we can use there if we need. The SLR drop shot it would have been nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> Wasn't quite. I didn't mean to jump off the roof, though. Do we have any other games on the schedule this week? Um, yeah, I wanted to jump on and try try out Daisy. I don't know what day we're going to do stuff on really. Tomorrow is going to be pretty Larry focused, I think. Uh, yeah, I want to try some Daisy. I might do some Warzone at some stage. It'd be nice to do some Rimworld, but it's always a bit of a battle with how... Maybe just do like a couple of hours. It's so niche, it feels like, you know... It's hard to justify playing on stream, to be honest. But yeah, we'll see. We need some more, some new stuff to come out we want to play, really. We need Rust to come out. Is that the dead? Is that? Oh. Hey, buddy. That's most likely that was the guy who's having the fight with the guy that I shot up there earlier. GG's. When is Rust coming out? There's no release date yet. Rust on console. Yeah, it's going to be coming out this year. They said they announced in November that it was going to come out this year. How you doing, Smitty? Good to see you, mate. Mike Dole. How you doing? Where are we going? Over here. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, he's gone. He's a burning. Don't do too much of that because we're just going to get like headed by someone else. Much I'd like to. No airdrop over there. That's probably why they're getting a bit excited. Ben, you should play DayZ. Well, we're gonna we're gonna not that it's a new game, but I'm we're gonna try out DayZ probably um, later this stream. I don't want to be uphill, to be honest. Otherwise, someone's going to grab us from up here. What's up, Random? How you doing? Do any of you fancy the Avengers game due this year? I haven't really seen anything about that. don't really know anything about that. We heard a guy popping off with a canine back here a while ago. So he's going to be knocking about. Might be him. Zone's going to get you, dude. He gave it a go. Him charging at me. Didn't quite work. I saw ya. You gonna, you gonna peek? Nope. Someone else trying to shoot me. Oh, he's on over there. Oh. oh, how? Insurgency Sandstorm looks decent. Yeah, I remember Brian mentioning that. 45 bucks. Twenty-five if you go to GameStop. Yeah, I mean it's kind of a shame because my X is still absolutely fine. But um, yeah, I, I'll get the I'll get the new one and then the X can just go downstairs, I guess. Save lugging up and downstairs when I'm like playing something in the living room. I've still got like I'm sure I must have like three Xbox 360s and probably some old Xbox One sitting in my loft. My attic. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of different for us because it's not, it's not just a question of being like your normal consumer. It's a question of being a content creator as well. Pretty wild. I'm just trying to pick up a helmet, man. Leave me alone, brother.
Uh, Rowata, thank you so much for the nine month resub. Cheers, Rowata. Appreciate it, mate. How you doing? Triple kill. Thank you, Millie Fest. Yeah. Yeah, it helped. I thought that last guy was going to get us when he jumped down. I heard him nearby, but I... And then he did the jump, but I, yeah, I didn't think he'd be dropping down right next to me. I thought he had dropped onto the, like, the bit outside or something. Apparently not. Uh, let's take an Uzi, because it's great. And then maybe a, um, a K9 or something. Uzi K9 could be fun. In the world would be streaming Halo Infinite. I was never a big Halo guy, really. Never a big Halo guy. Wasn't like, you know, not like I'm um, anti Halo, but I just never really, never really got massively into them. Yeah, it was a nice. Oh, there's the canine. Yeah, I thought I'd seen one. It was a nice little fight. Nice little fight. I mean, that's, that's, you know, that's a bit like when I drop at school, drop in the ruins. I like dropping runes because I know it so well that you can predict the paths people are going to take. Oh, look, a fresh vest. <laughs> and uh, and use that to your advantage, right? Like that first, well, not the first, the first guy we killed, we just kind of ran into coincidentally and shot him. The second guy we were running to cut him off because I knew where he was going, the guy who went in the underground bit, we were heading to cut that guy off, bumped into the first guy. And the last guy just dropped on our heads, really. But the, uh, yeah, you know, if you know the area, you can use that. Use that to your advantage, right? Well, I don't want to jump the gun here, but the video that went up on YouTube today, right? Which was um, that 10 kill crazy Groza game on Sanok. That game started with a ruins drop where I got three kills very quickly at the beginning. Um... And then nothing happened till the top 10. And then I killed like another seven people. So just putting that out there. Just putting it out there. Uh, what do we need? A stock? A red dot? Let me, I'm sure we saw a red dot inside. Red dot. Jumping frog. Our cooking. But, but, no pressure. No pressure. Oh, we got cheek pad already. Cheeky pad. I drop ruins a lot. Never as busy as it used to be. No, not often. To have three people there was... It depends on the plane. The plane has a big impact on it. That plane, it's like... It's an earlier, more tempting drop, I think. When it's late on, you can often get, like, no people there. Yeah, definitely not as busy as it used to get, that's for sure. Why do I keep getting so much packet loss? Is that a thing now, or is this have I just forgotten to plug my Xbox in or something? Did I upload that sweaty squad vehicle mayhem? No, that's going up tomorrow, though, is the plan. It's going up tomorrow. I am wired. I just keep getting, uh, like, I'm not noticing a negative effect on gameplay, but it's kind of, I need to turn my network thing off because it's kind of distracting just having that, like, ping in red at the side all the time. Suppressed Uzi or comp Uzi? I'd only run the suppressed Uzi because it sounds better. Um, if I didn't have a tax stock, if I didn't have an Uzi stock, like I don't at the moment, I would definitely use a comp. If I had a stock on it already, then whatever. Doesn't really matter, I don't think. I mean, the comp is better. The comp is inarguably better, but, um, it's so easy to control the recall regardless of what you got on the Uzi that I don't think it really makes a huge difference. I guess depending on your skills of recoil control. What 
Like, the comp is better, but I just... It, it's so easy to control anyway, it doesn't make a huge difference. Oh, hey! Even looking at my screen, you bastard. He's over there, isn't he? Yeah, here he comes. Oh dear. Oh, in the head again. Keep getting hit in the head. You love the ump again? I've not really used it too much. I mean, I killed all those guys with it, I guess, at the start there, but I've not been using it. We should have got him with that first spray, really. I think if your response is that, it'd be awful. Everyone would be using it. It means that we need balanced and we need all guns on all maps. I mean, I don't really see how that leads to you wanting all guns on all maps, but it, it doesn't feel balanced. I mean, I guess you could argue that it might be balanced on the maps it's available on. It's only on Karakin now because Vikendi's gone. I guess we're getting Vikendi back soon. I'd like it as an alternative to a vector on Vikendi. I don't think... I wouldn't like all guns and all maps. I think it'd be a mess. There's just too many. I don't mind having the different guns on different maps. I think the, the, it's more frustrating because you can't choose what map you play on. So if there's a gun you really want to use, you can't choose to use it because you can't choose that map. So that's a frustration. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not bothered about having map-specific guns. To be honest, that doesn't bother me at all. What's up, Matt Munt? How you doing? Take out the G36. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really need to be there. Doesn't really need to be there. It, it, again, it you know, as a as a Sanok only, uh, sorry, uh, Vikendi only as a replacement for what the Scar, you know, sure. You should love to have the Panzer on other maps, man. People would hate that. Be fun for a day. I wouldn't mind QBZ. Yeah, QBZ is fun. I think if they put all guns and all maps, then they'd probably need to, like, remove a couple to, you know, balance out a bit. Get rid of the G36. Get rid of the SKS. Get rid of the QBU. Huh, no one here. Nerf the SMGs a bit. Get rid of the barrel. <laughs> I hate the barrel. I don't want it. Just get rid of the guns I don't like, really. Be fine. Oh, that was a little glitch in the matrix there. Is it true that the trains won't be moving for console? Where did you hear that? I shouldn't imagine that's true. Doesn't sound very true. Um, sure, we might still use that. Block down the pub, said it. Trains better move, I got places to go. Sort the shotgun spread out. Yeah, the shotgun pellet spread's pretty, pretty annoying. Oh, I don't have a vest on. There's a vest. Sure. Get rid of the revolver. Run the barrel. Run the barrel, Ben. I don't know. I, 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 I'm sorry. I, I just. I, 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 I. Go on then. We'll run the barrel. I don't like it though. I won't be happy about it. We've got all the good bits on it, so at least it'll be like, you know, less less trash than I normally think it is. Are we in the zone? Nope. 
Not today. Uh, okay, we just need to find a sniper of some description. Oh, not that. What's up, Mr. Grunt? How you doing? Peril or riot? Double AKM. I'd rather run double AKM. I'd do all right with that. Hmm. Oh, God, SKS? I mean, sure, we'll take this until we find a K9 or anything else. I mean, we can have a decent game with the SKS, but... I'd rather it was an SLR. SLR, best DMR. Yeah, apart from the MK, for sure. On console, anyway. I think a lot of people would argue for the Mini on PC, judging by the popularity of the Mini. But um, I think, as we talked about before, I think due to the... Due to how you can dodge shots so much better on console because of how hard, much harder controller aim is compared to mouse and keyboard. So you can just like duke around and dodge shots quite easily. I think it makes weaker, more accurate DMRs like the Mini less effective than they are on PC. Because you have to land so many shots, you have to roll that dice so many more times of hitting them. Whereas if you use something like the SLR, you only need to land like a couple of hits and you probably drop them. Sometimes the mini could take like five hits, six hits to drop someone. What's up, Ender? How you doing? Any, did I get any DayZ in this weekend? No, I've not, not touched it. Uh, we're going to jump on it in a bit though. We're going to play a little bit on stream today. Just jump in for a couple of hours and, you know, starve to death. Give it a whirl. How you doing, yours truly? Murderface, how you doing? The barrel is the shittest AR in the game. <laughs> Fight me. Yeah, I, mean, I haven't used it for so long. Not properly. I don't know the noise it makes. It just, it just sounds like I'm using a bad gun. <laughs> just sounds bad. You'd rather a mini than an M4 for sniping? Well, sure, yeah, I agree, but... It's not much of a comparison. Kind of tempted to take that though. Um, we'll stick with the SKS for now, just because then it's an easy switch to an SLR if we do do find one. I am gonna do that, Pirate Lou. I am gonna do that. It's only shit if you can't use it. Yeah, that's a fair point. No, give me an SLR. Oh, K9. There we go. Thank you. Drop all that. Drop. Yeah. Drop that. Bam. Inventory space. Um, okay. We'll go and try and find someone to shoot with this awesome gun. Imagine you get smoked now by a dude with a barrel. I get killed by barrels plenty. I'm just, I just don't use them, so when I do use it, I'm bad with it. That's, that's why I'm saying it's bad. <laughs> What's up, Caboose? How you doing? Far Hades, how you doing? I uh, see you later, Smitty. Take it easy, dude. Go find some boys.
Did he just cross the road or was that like weird fence glitching? Yeah, he did. That guy. He didn't move after the first shot. No, he just didn't didn't fancy it, did he? bury his ass we've got to, I don't know where he went he ran off into the houses it's all foggy I don't know where he's gone Mavis the crap out of him so I will find another lad Put that. Oh, no. Why more? I'm coming. Slowly. I'm getting there. I got my berry. My berry, berry boys. We're berry boys. Hello? Oh, you were fighting. Were you fighting that guy? I don't think you were. Oh. No, you really were. Hmm. I felt like we had to hit that guy a lot, considering he's medding. He must have got the med off. What's up, Nico? How you doing? Marv, how you doing? There's lad up there, and then there was a the mute. The, oh, he's on a roof. Okay, this guy. That dude. And I guess that guy's still up there. It's a pretty popular roof to go to. I've already seen anyone up there before. Oh, he's peeking again. Come on. Let's, look, I'll just stand here. How about that? It's one of those kinds of guys. Oh, he's looking at me. <laughs> he's looking this way. Show him off the right off there, didn't we? He's sleeping now. He is at peace. <gasps> oh, that was it. Come on. He's got VSS. I was so close. I'm just stood right here. It's got to be tempting, right? I'll just pretend I'm running along like this. Oh, I'm going this way now. We've got to be give Every miss gives him a bit of confidence to peek, right? There we go. Tactical misses. Tactical misses. Find this lad. Someone on YouTube said that turning your brightness down can help see through the, the fog, apparently.
I don't know if that's true or not. Unverified. Oh, Tech Joyce just got killed. Unlucky Tech. I probably don't need to boost that up, actually. Yeah, I've been watching tech popping off in the feed all game, and then, uh... And then he died. Can you take that UAZ? How is that not a heady? Guess he didn't quite realize where I was. I don't know where this mutant guy is. I think he was... Oh, there he is, that. Down there somewhere. He died. You've seen the brightness thing done? It does help. I guess the fog is kind of dying off now anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but... Next time. He's got a little bridge block going on. Can't see him at the moment. Oh, there he is. Wow, he's gone right back. Berry, berry, berry. Yeah, we got another berry kill. Hey, the berry. Berry boys. One for team berry. Uh, this guy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Quite the berry boy. What's up, Drawn? How you doing? Beast Man, how you doing? You should do Larry sub duos. We'll do some more Larrys tomorrow. There won't be Larry sub duos, but there'll be some Larrys tomorrow. How many berries? We got a couple of berry kills, right? Two, two berries. I was just gonna wait. Yeah, there we go. This guy is going to get pushed off the bridge. Not not in any hurry, though. Might go for a wander and see if we can see anyone else. Hey, Hooskins, how you doing? I use type B controls. Type B. Type B for Ben. B for banana. Oh, would have been nice, right? Is that guy upstairs? No. Man, pick the window. Pick the window. Does anyone use Type C? Uh, anyone in chat use Type C controls? I'd be interested to see what the stats are on. How many people use Type C controls? I don't imagine there's too many. Let's get a tiny bit of sevens off this guy if you had any. Bridge camp. Well, there's only there's that one guy across there. I doubt there's many more. He's just been running around the bridge, having the time of his life. Gonna get this crate though, that's gonna come down nearby. B, B, A. Rumor has it automatic car drivers use Type C. Lil. Oh, that was so close.
Sorry, Barry. See you later. Let this guy go. I feel like, he, yeah, he did just park up there. Where's his little head? Are you still medding? Not Berry Boy anymore. It's a fair swap. Yeah, exactly. Okay, watch the bridge boy. Watch the fly lad. Watch for this this guy. He might have run into town, I guess. Or he's just hiding in that little divot still. I kind of want to get... Let's get across the street. I don't want to be out here because it's like really open. This guy might still be in the house over there too. Oh, is that? No, that's not. Friend? Oh, I see you. Wow. Shot in the ass by this dude. Hang in there, buddy. Oh, he missed the heady. Hit him in the shoulder. This guy was like... He was on that corner of wall. I'm guessing that dude was probably the... Um, bridge guy, maybe? Roof guy for meds. Yeah, I mean, there's a few crates knocking about if we need bits. We've been just fighting in this area for ages, so... It does mean you're normally pretty good for... Ammo and meds. I want to spray this guy, but... I want to get shot while we do it. Ooh. Shot, why not? A little bit cautious in case that guy's still coming in off, off the bridge. He had a... What did this guy have? They had a mutant, the gun. This guy had an SLR on something, didn't he? M4 SLR. The guy on the bridge had a mutant, I think. But maybe he switched guns. He did kill some people out there. I'm a coming. That's a wild scrap. What was that? Over there somewhere. Is this thing really low or really high? Oh, it's high up. <laughs> I sort of got up there for a sec. K9's putting an overtime, yeah. Been doing the business. Is there two glide? Oh my god, there's two gliders. It's 
quite a few lads left. Anybody out here? Is that guy? Nope. I guess that guy we shot at in this compound here might earlier might still be there. Yeah, the Groza sounds great. Even without the suppressor, the Groza sounds really good. And then with it, it just sounds sounds immense. That might be the bridge guy with his mutant. Hey, buddy. Where are you at? On the crate? Just on the ridge somewhere. Out there somewhere. God, I want to shoot these guys, but... Hey, is this a different mutant guy? It's got to be, right? Or did I just completely... No, it wasn't up. Yeah. I thought I'd like 180'd myself, you know. Got the direction wrong. This guy's got to cross over. Oh, well, he's going to get pushed. Bad shooting there. He got away with that. Well, he got away with it. Longer than he should have done. Taking my unwanted giddy. These glider boys are going to die soon. They won't be able to pull tight enough circles soon, surely. My first sprays were really bad on him, but we managed to get him in the end. So there's someone... I swear it's got foggy again. Like it went from being foggy to clear to foggy again. Look at these fucking gliders. <laughs> so so annoying. But, you know, it adds to something, certain something. Death Grin, thank you for the 14 months. Cheers, mate. Appreciate it. I don't know if that helps. Apparently turning down your brightness can help a bit see through fog, so we'll give it a whirl. Rounds. We know there's a mutant guy. Oh, hello, this guy. You're probably the mutant guy. Gotcha. It's one of them still up there. One guy just died zone. Is there anyone else here? It's kind of it's kind of crazy with the gliders going on because you can't hear a lot. And there is a guy still in there. He was waiting for a guy to come out. I thought he was. That guy got out of his glider over there. I think he drove out. He, I think he might have gone out of the zone on his glider and died to the zone. I think there's a dude in here. But he's got a big space in go out the back there. Owie, just got warmed. You put your brightness to about 30 when it's foggy. Damn! So there's glider guy, orm guy, and then guy in that house, I guess, is what we're, what we're dealing with here. Unless that house guy might be that guy, I don't know, might be the orm guy. That sounds like someone trying to shoot a glider. Oh, hello. No! No, stuck on a stupid thing! Jesus. 
is. Not a good position to be in, though. How have you managed to survive this long in that glider? Surely that's... There he goes. Oh, he got out. Oh, he died. Oh, that's not good. Just had to push one of them. The glider guy ran him himself over. Oh, nice. <laughs> GG. See, I wonder what happened to him. Uh, Death Green, thank you for the 14 months, mate. Appreciate it. The guy who just hit you must have had his brightness turned to zero. Yeah, I'll have to, we'll have to try to turn it. It felt unnatural to turn it too crazily down. We'll have to, uh, but we'll have to try it sometime. Uh, Sean, how you doing, mate? Lovely to see you. Yeah, good little game. Good little game. I'm back. And I've got a biscuit. Run a double AKM. Um, we're probably not going to do that. Excuse the dog. He's just having a little woof. A van thing up there? That's a car, I think. Just trying to spot out a car. Do you know what happened to ATX? He just kind of... Oh, there's a bike there. Nice. He just kind of disappeared last summer, really. DBS. <laughs> wow, we found three different shotguns in this building now. It's not a cracker. It's a bit of shortbread. I had to go and answer the door. I didn't run off in an emergency to, to get a biscuit. Although, that wouldn't be, you know, wouldn't be unwarranted. Oh, I'm doing. Zone could be worse, all things considered. So would that be a cookie or a biscuit? It's a biscuit. It's shortbread. Biscuit, mate. Do I skateboard? No, I don't. Could have used that emergency biscuit in day Z, yeah. Tell me about it. Do I rollerblade? Ah, oh, keen, keen rollerblader. Always out there rollerblading. You just try and stop me. You try and get those rollerblades off my feet. Old oh, Benny Two Blades, as they call me. Down the down the roller skating park. Is ATX still subbed? Someone gifted him a sub the other day. He no, his his sub did end. There was a point where I was like, is he just? Disappeared and forgotten to unsub, but his sub did, did expire. But yeah, he got gifted one the other day. Like a, re a remembrance sub. Or oh, Benny Two Blades, yeah. Ah, oh, good times, mate. Used to be in a gang. We'd just roll a blade around town. You know, just... Doing like drive bys and stuff, but well, blade blade bys we called them because we were rollerbladers. It was a rollerblading gang. Blade by taking on rival rollerblade gangs. Good times, man. Good times. No regrets. All butter shortbread is the biscuit of kings. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, yeah, Sean made some, and it was very very yummy. And um, one of the benefits of the lockdown is that um, there's not really anyone around to share um, any of the confectionery that the missus bakes. So I just get to eat it all. All about the micro scooter. <laughs> the most feared. The most feared of non-engine transport. Go do this building then we'll cheese it on this bike. 
There's something, I mean, I don't know what it is about non-motorized transport, but seeing grown men on it, it's a bit, a bit weird. Like, micro scooters particularly. I remember you they, you see people, like, they're a bit more popular for, like, commuters and stuff. That's, that's not a door. <laughs> for commuters now. <gasps> Illuminati. Um, so, like, in London, you will see, like, a bloke in, like, a full suit and tie just going along on a little scooter at the side of the road and I don't I don't like to be too judgmental but they do look like like twats I just I'm sorry I'm sorry if you if you use a micro scooter to get around town uh, you know you, you might look a bit you know you might look like a bit of a twat I'm not saying you are a twat I'm just saying you might you just might look like one is that fair? All this blade talk. Anyone remember Blades of Steel? Anyone remember Blades of Steel? Um, we kind of got... Well, we, yeah, a bit lacking the old meds department, aren't we? Blades of Glory? That's the, yeah, that's the ice skating one, right? Um, ugh, we should probably cheese it because we have not very much meds. Man, there was a really fun, um, I, back on Xbox 360, there was a, uh, really fun little ice, ice hockey game called Three Versus, I think it's called Three Versus Three, something like that, 3v3. It was like a little arcade three-on-three ice hockey game, like cartoony. That was really good fun. We used to play that a bunch. And then there was, they did like a, um, American football one as well that was, um, a uh, similar sort of concept. Can I ever play that? There is an orchard on the way to the circle. Excellent. Excellent. Let's see if we can find a nice water fountain. Get some get some drinky poos in us. Where was this bike? We better go and find it before I, you know, starve to death. I think it was over here, wasn't it? Your wife made homebred, homemade naan bread last night. Oh, that sounds great. That sounds great. I want to try making some bread. Is it over here, maybe? Bike! I'm cheesing it in a vehicle. That's fine. I'm just trying to find my bike. Where did I... I don't feel like it's this far over. Oh, how did I... Oh, it's there. Quickly, the blue is coming. I don't want to take any damage. Road Rash. Man, Road Rash are great games. I mean, kind of, kind of off topic, but definitely excellent games. Some of them. Man, I would, I would happily play like a new version of Road Rash. Would be awesome. And the one I remember, my granddad used to have a Sega Saturn with Road Rash on it, some version of Road Rash. And every time he came to visit, I'd make sure he brought the Sega Saturn so I could just like sit there and play Road Rash on my granddad's Sega Saturn. You're making tart to tan? Nice, wow, that is, that's some MasterChef shit right there. It's gonna be lovely. Mutant League Hockey, ah, oh, great game, great game. Is that one where you can get like a chainsaw and just kill your opponents? Yeah, good times. Oh, 
early high school days there, yeah. Mutant League. Wasn't that like Mega Drive or something? That's like a Mega Drive game, right? The Genesis for the Americans. Up we go! <laughs> it goes my, my quiet entry. Hmm. Need some more sevens, really. Toe Jam and Earl. Great games. The one, there were two Toe Jam and Earls. I liked the, um... The one that was like the top-down view, where you went around the different islands and stuff, that one was really good. There was another one that was like a platformer, that side, side view platformer that I didn't think was as good, but... The top-down view one was amazing. You bought the new Toe Jam and Earl on the Nintendo Switch? Nice, nice. Is it any good? What's up, Scotty? Back on PUBG. Yeah, I was enjoying it. Daisy was fun, but the nighttime was just so, so dark. It was kind of crappy to watch on stream, and it was also just really straining my eyes, so uh, we had to just bail on it, unfortunately. Um, and But we will... Um, I want to have another crack at it, but it will have to be... We'll have to, like, have another go when it's... Uh, when it's daytime or... Um, I adjust my lighting setup here slightly so it's more manageable on my eyes, I guess. But yeah, it was uh, just too, too, too dark to play or stream. Seemed fun, though. Definitely give it another crack sometime. My, ah, sevens. There we go. Thank you. That's what we wanted. You don't remember Manic Miner? Yeah. Yeah, it's going going back, going right back. Anyone have a Dreamcast? No, I never had a Dreamcast. I remember my good buddy of mine had one. He used to play on his a little bit. Nighttime is dark as hell. Yeah, it was um yeah, it was quite quite full on. Did I enjoy Day Z? Uh, yeah, as I just said, uh, I enjoyed it. It was fun. Um, we'll try it again, but, um, it was, the nighttime was too dark to, to, to play or stream, really. It was just, in, in this setup I have here, it was just, yeah, strain, straining my eyes too much, and it looked terrible on stream. Two crude dudes on Sega was not bad, or Golden Axe. Yeah, Golden Axe is a classic. Um, what's another one? That, for some reason, that made me think of, um... Spy vs. Spy. Anyone ever play Spy vs. Spy or Spy v. Spy? That was a cool game. It's all good. Skitchin. <laughs> yeah, I do remember that. Base Wars on Nintendo. It doesn't ring a bell. I didn't have um, a NES or a SNES. I, was, I had Master System and then Mega Drive, and then I think went to N64, so I kind of... Skipped the early gen Nintendo. Uh, Jiggo, thank you for the two month resub, dude. Appreciate it, mate. What are we on? 44, 45 subs today. Pretty, pretty big old sub day. Ben's nostalgia time. One of my favorite old um, Mega Drive games was. Um, someone's parked up here. Uh, King's Bounty. It was on um, Mega Drive and also you could play it on DOS as well. Oh, he's going for this crate. Well, he got shot the bike guy though, didn't he? Yeah, he has... <laughs> it's fine. This guy has been hit. He's cheesing it. Oh, 
Oh, it's my bike. I thought, oh God. Oh, what if I take the grozer? Why am I carrying too much up here? I guess it's the, um... The frag's taking up so much weight. I heard that bike moving and I thought it was, um... I thought it was someone turning up with their engine turned off, but it's just my own bike falling down a hill. Well, that, that worked. Got a bit of loot. Leisure suit Larry. <laughs> yeah. It's going back. Did I not take the med kit? God's sake. Why is my inventory so... Get rid of some of these frags. Where's the stupid med kit? There we go. Is that a bug? Are there two there? Yeah, there's a bug. a nice little save wasn't it on the old bike there um, there was some guy with an MK he was popping away wouldn't mind getting that there's a lad that's him That's the MK guy. I felt like he was kind of pushing towards someone. Is that his, that his guy? Yeah, look, he's fighting this guy. I kind of want to see if he gets, like, damaged and then shoot him a bit. He's... Oh, he killed that guy as well. Oh, my God. Uh, what's up, pseudo Aussie? How you doing? John the best, how you doing? Yeah, we, we hit him, but... It's an annoying thing, he's... He's only got to hit me like a couple of times to kill me. Uh, the MK guy only has to land a couple of shots to kill me is the issue there. Uh, what's up, Penfold? How you doing? Let's get to the zone pretty soon. Nice. No, not that. Ugh. Not as much ammo as I would like, but uh, it's kind of okay. Man, I can't believe I'm just absolutely loving the Grozer lately. We've had so many, so many fun games using the Grozer. Is this guy where is he? Is he like running somewhere? Well, oh, look, he's gonna go for this buggy, I think. Make his life difficult. I'm guessing he's down there somewhere. There he is.
Have a nice walk, mate. I kind of want to kill him and take his MK, but uh, it's kind of greedy, right? Oh my god, he, I keep getting that one hit and then he has to stop a man. There we go, nice. He's running because he knows he just has no other choice. Worked out, played the long game. Also signed up for Beard, guys. Thank you for the 14 months, mate. Ah, oh, lovely to see you. Lovely to see you. Thank you for the resub. The Groza sounds beautiful. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? I'm fairly sure this is the MK guy. Ooh. Thank you, thank you. Oh, we, okay, he didn't have an MK. Well, did, okay, is that a different guy or am I just, am I just crazy? How many sevens? Um, let's take this. Well, I think we just need to get to the play zone now. He says, driving back to check the other guys. Where's this buggy that I shot? Watched the stream from Friday over the weekend. Oh man, it was a great one. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I don't know where he is. Let's just get to the play zone. Oh, it might be that guy. That's kind of where he was. Hmm, no. Um, you got some ammo for me though. And some first aids. And a cheek pad. Huh, now we're going. Because this next zone will hurt. We've got a little way to go. I think, oh, he was he trying to get to that bike? Ah, I didn't know that bike was there, so I guess that's where he was, he was desperately trying to get to. Pretty late entry into the circle here. Just going to max boost and heal before we move in. Gonna be tight, low on gas. Oh we ooh. We'll be fine. It'll be fine. Oh that is really low, isn't it? Oh god, okay, yeah. That's alright, we've got the momentum we need. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. What's up, Hunter? How you doing? It might have been a box. Yeah, that's why we we checked as many boxes as we really had time to time to try. It was pretty pretty excessive. Would have been nice to get the MK, but we got a pimped out SLR. Glider boy up here. It's like I say, I'd love to start shooting at that glider for the crazy shots, but there's going to be someone up here. And there he is. He's just on this tree, I think. He's gone down. Hello. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Dune left left. Yeah. GG's. 
Shot him right in the butt cheek. Well, wow. he had a shotgun on M16. GG's. Oh, what's up, Killer? How you doing? Aiden, how you doing? Toad Guy, how you doing? A Scotsman, I presume. I, I can only assume so. <laughs> it's a great name. Pop over there. I was hoping he'd just like stop there and we could destroy him. There might be someone in that. Keep an eye on. He has stopped to this one though. You gone inside? No, he's just chilling behind it, actually. Another guy behind him. But ah, uh, yeah. Dune, dune, lift. He's out there now. Yeah. Oi. That's that guy. Pushing up. No, we're still just chilling. Both got nice hits. Well, he body shot me. He was going for his first top 10 and you ruined it. Oh, I know, I know. We don't have a ton of ammo here and we kind of got to go towards this guy. Let's boost and rotate around. We got time to loot this guy. Kind of in the open. I think we'll have to leave it. I want to kind of avoid this guy a little bit. Just because we don't want to have to flat out charge him towards the zone. Ammo. I Yeah, we know. We know. Oh, he heard me. Or saw me. Oh, we hit him so nicely. Oh. One bullet away. Oh my god, look at his health as well. I think he might have just got blown up. If he didn't get blown up, he got shot. Yeah, I think we'd hit him with a headshot as well there, but just didn't follow up with enough hits. GG's. GG's. We were talking about Twister. We I watched uh, Twister at the weekend. That's why we were talking about those guys. It's decent. It held up. It held up. Like the effects and stuff didn't look too too bad. It was just unpleasant to play with it being dark. Boom, it just wasn't wasn't enjoyable. But when it was not dark, it was it was a lot of fun. He's not gonna be happy about that.
thought I saw someone go off to like this side over there. But the shooting was over here. Well, they're here now. What are ya? I heard ya. Man, he really nailed me with that thing. Oh, I see him. I see ya. It's not good. Change of plan. Did you kill this guy? Did the VSS guy kill you? Maybe. Nope. You're just down here. Did you kill the VSS guy? VSS boy! Not want to jump off there. What's up, V-Dub? How you doing, mate? Yeah, a few lads knocking about. It's nice to see. Oh, hello. That is the VSS boy. It's my boy. Uh. Cheeky. Go get some more ammo for this. Yeah, a nice little early scrap. Paxton was the fake spy in True Lies. Simon. Is that true? Bill pa pa Paxman? Man, True Lies. I loved that film when I was a kid. There's... I'm not sure this guy's got a VSS anymore. No, maybe he did. I don't know where he's gone. He's been quite stealthy, isn't he? His shots were pretty good, though. The car salesman, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, man. I guess, yeah. Never really thought about it. Sure. I watched True Lies, not surprisingly recently. <laughs> surprisingly recently. Not super, super recently, but like this year, last year. My favorite part of True Lies, I think, is probably. Um, when he jumps the motorbike uh, from one building roof across the street uh, into a swimming pool on another building's roof. And that's probably probably the highlight for me. Uh, what's up, King Matt? How you doing? I don't know. I think that bloke's still floating about. I just think he's been a bit stealthy. He was sort of playing a, you know, a, 
a paced game, a measured game. I'll go for a wander. Jamie Lee Curtis was smoking in that movie. Well, yeah, I mean, I've probably for the for the taste of the nineties, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> different times. Ooh, another AR comp, put in as. My WTF kills was so funny. You mean in, uh, what, in PUBG WTF video? Which one? He tries to jump the horse, yeah. It's pretty... Let's just dodge this red zone. It's pretty silly. It's pretty silly. I kind of like the uh, the fight they have in the toilet where he's like going along kicking all the doors open. There's that guy just sitting there <laughs> having a shit. Uh, great, great film. That was that was close. We saw it going up. In True Lies, I like when the camera is, the terrorist terrorist camera runs out of battery and he's too afraid to tell his boss. There should be a whole movie about that dynamic. Just focusing on that guy. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I think that might fall over this side, to be honest. He fired it from the other side, though. That might have been him. Got a flare gun? Yeah, that's him. Well, it's going to take a while to go down, and uh, is that my VSS friend turn up? No, it's a bike. I always see that scooter and think it's a, <laughs> think it's a Larry. <laughs> I really wanted to get him through that little hole in the tree would have been would have been nice. That's it. This is great. I don't really know where it is. Down. There we go. Uh, I wasn't really watching where the crate was, and now I reckon it's wherever this. Oh, there it is. They're all trying to find it. This guy's pretty close. But it's another Grozer. See you in the lobby, Barry. Let's see if this guy has a bit of sevens for us. 
to Groza kind of day. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. There was a time when I wasn't a big fan of the Groza, but now, uh, the last week or so, I've been having a mad one. That's the VSS guy. Hey, buddy. He did well. Well, it's a VSS guy. We should have a bit more sevens for me, mate. Oh dear, that's someone else. Oh, hello, it's you. Oh, someone's got a BRDM over there. Yeah, we gotta gotta get unpinched a little bit here. Bugger off! I'm guessing he's rotated a little bit? It's kind of hard to tell. BRDM guy's going in the in the water, I think. There is, there is his BRDM. This guy is coming over. I think I just saw him there. Gotcha. This guy need more sevens? Yeah, we go. That got the job done, didn't it? Nope. Gonna need to find some more sevens at some stage. Yeah, the VSS guy find. I don't know if it's the same. I swear the VSS guy at the beginning was wearing like yellow or something, but it might have been the. It might have just been a different guy, but seems likely it was the same boy. It grows on you. Nice, nice. Oh, hello. No. Hopefully that guy got distracted by this guy. Dead now. Thanks. <laughs> Felt like he was close. Get this down yet? You got any sevens? No. By oh, this guy. He had a, I thought he had a Groza. Cheeky. Oh shit, we got a cross. Oh, that's rough. Ooh, okay. I think we... It's either we, either we try and cross here. I think we just got to do this and see if we survive, unfortunately. We're probably going to get shot, but it's either this or we ran all the way to the bridge and tried to run across the bridge, but give this a go. I thought you were going to do a double. I was thinking about it, yeah. Having too much fun with the K9 though, right? Bro's a friend. Okay, well there's that canine guy up here we saw a little while ago. Anyone else having to swim? Oh, yep, hello, this guy. 
It's not even got a helmet on. I'm not gonna go underwater. I guess it's a bit shallow, maybe? And that's coming from, like, right uphill. to tell they can throw miles so it might he might be up here somewhere uh daisy was fun but when it got dark it was just too dark to stream it was both made my eyes sore just how ridiculously dark it was and even with, like, the gamma turned up massively for the stream, it was still, um... It still looked kind of shit on stream, so, uh... We still had to bail out when it was nighttime, unfortunately. But it was fun. We mucked about on it for, like, an hour. Uh, and I'd be up for trying it again, but we'd have to do it when it's daytime. Or change my setup slightly to try and get it. I thought it was there. To make it more palatable. Let's get in, players on. Some DBSing up here. You got a kill with it. GG's. Am I running to a cliff here? Yeah. Where's old DBS Dave? Where are you? Where are you? He died zone. Who knows? Um, I might be a bit trapped on this cliff. We, oh, we might have, might be able to sneak our way around there. Thirty seconds. Yeah, I think we gotta just. We're gonna have to go out the zone and go down here. I think. We can hear that BRDM knocking around. There's a guy. There he is. DBS guy's still going. I guess he just got around the other way. Not many left. Can't get through there. This guy. I like seeing still like this, but I'm just trying to stay hidden from this guy to see if he pushes out into the open. He seems quite aggressive, so I'd be, I'd be surprised if he like hops this fence. Pretty should have sprayed him there, but we'll see what he does. New zone's kind of on my right. Please don't be looking at me. It's just like jumping around. Oh, he's gone out that way. Should have finished him there. 
Well, hurt him a bit. We're not, we're kind of just on the edge of the zone here. It's not a place we're probably going to finish up, but I think we'll wait here and, uh, that is Vecchi versus, I guess, the QBU guy probably got killed there. He's in this building at the moment. I feel kind of vulnerable from behind at the moment, but... Oh, how? Vector. Every time. We should have had him when we sprayed him at the side of the house, really. Uh, just yours truly. Appreciate it, mate. Appreciate it, mate. You hate to see it. Hate to see it. Uh, nice. Well, I think we'll finish up there for the day. I think it's a nice little finishing point. It's all right. We've got too much, too much YouTube content queued up anyway. It'd be a disaster to get more wins. Um, yeah, nice. We'll, um, what is it today? Monday. We'll be back tomorrow. I haven't posted the stream schedule yet on the Discord. I will do that tomorrow morning, but it's just basically the normal, normal schedule. 1 p.m. starts uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, so tomorrow will be on at 1. Uh, we'll be doing Larry's tomorrow. And then Thursday, we've got the front page slot again, 2 till 4. Um, probably be playing PUBG. I really want to do some Warzone, so I don't know when we'll manage to do some Warzone, but at some stage we'll get around to playing some Warzone. Maybe we'll do some on Thursday. Might be a bit of fun. We'll see. Um, but yeah, and custom games on Fridays, so uh, should be good. Well, thank you for hanging out today. Thank you for all the support. Have a lovely evening, and I shall see you all uh, see you tomorrow.